<sighs> Man. Okay. I got dumped from the library. Now all I gotta do is read my new book. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. A novel in cartoons. The New York Times bestseller, of course. All I had to do was open this baby up. Hmm. Don't know what the thing is made, but it's got some pretty nice packaging, I can say that. Hmm. What does this school say? I stole this book from the library. There's a lot of stuff written on it. Huh. The book is due on February 13th. Got it. Okay. Here we go. September, Tuesday. First of all, let me get something straight. This is a journal, not a diary. I know what it says on the cover, but when Mom went out to buy this thing, I specifically told her to get the one that didn't say diary on it. Great. All I need is for some jerk to catch me carrying this book around and get the wrong idea. The other thing I want to clear up right away is that this was Mom's idea, not mine. But if she thinks I'm going to write down my feelings in here or whatever, She's crazy, so just don't expect me to be all dear diary this and dear diary that. I can relate. <laughs> Come on. Why is it so hard to do? Did it finally. The only reason I agreed to do this at all is because I figure on later when I'm rich and famous, I'll have better things to do than answer people's stupid questions all day, so this book is going to come in handy. All right. Bring the bath over here in just a minute. Like I said, I'll be famous one day. But for now, I'm stuck in middle school with a bunch of morons. I'm one brother. Let me just say for the record that I think middle school is the dumbest idea ever invented. You got kids like me who haven't hit their growth spurt yet mixed up with these gorillas who need to save twice a day. And they wonder why bullying is such a big problem in middle school. If it was up to me, Grade levels would be based on height, not age. But then again, I guess that would mean kids like Shrav Gupta would still would be in first grade. Oh, get her that is so flip the page. Okay. Today is the first day of school. And right now, we'll just run around for the teacher uh, to hurry up and put us a seating chart. So I figured that I might as well write this right in this book to pass the time. By the way, let me give you some good advice. On the first day of school, you gotta be real careful where you sit. You walk, you walk into the classroom and just plunk your stuff on into your desk. And the next thing you know, the teacher is saying, help you all like where you're sitting, because these are your permanent, permanent seats. Gah. So in this class, I got, I got stuck with Chris Hosey in front of me and Lion James in back of me. That's enough. I'm going to get scarred for life. Okay, maybe I can do that test now. Hmm. But, if I was going to take a quiz on this book, because I forgot to mention that in the story, then maybe I don't need this hat. I can use a different one. Huh. Took it off. Perfect. Now, where's that I can use? Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, no, Max. Well, I'm not stealing this hat. I'm just, um, stealing this hat. <laughs> what? <sighs> yes, I slept through my entire test. That's not good. I might as well relax before Woody comes to find me. This is my hat. I'll get it later. Mario! Hello! Hey yo, Mario! Say, uh. Why you got my hat? Huh, fella? Oh, hey, Woody. You want your hat back? Uh, yes, I want my hat back. Give it. Neo! Shrimpo! Shrimpo! Okay, Woody, get your hat. Oh, uh, thanks, Mario. Um, she could on the flip side. Yo! What a strange thing he would say. All means Woody. What are you? 
expect. Now, well, time to go to bed. You. 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 I'll just take this. Thank you very much. You. You.